Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Coast Polysteel 600. So this flashlight is great because, for one reason pretty much, you can buy it at the local store. So Home Depot is now carrying these. Um, I think they've been carrying them for quite a while, but they're not that expensive anymore. You can pick one of these up for uh, like $25 to $40, depending on the sale and stuff. So this flashlight is 620 lumens on high, uh, which that, for a flashlight that you can just go buy at the store for relatively inexpensive, that's really good. Uh, it might not seem like a lot compared to like the 1000 lumens Chinese flashlights, but you have to consider one, uh, that's a little bit too high of an estimate, and also, um, this runs off AA batteries. So, inside the back here, if I can get it open, It actually has a really tight seal, so it uh, is IPX8 uh, waterproof and 3 meter drop tested. So it actually is pretty durable. It's got a stainless steel body, which these batteries are housed in. So it just takes four double A's, and it gets this ridiculous brightness off of that. Um, yeah, so that screws back on. And there's not too much to go wrong with this flashlight, just because of its design. So. Up at the front, there's the lens, which is, uh, it doesn't actually have like a lens right at the very front. It's kind of further back in. Now you can turn the actual bezel to adjust the light, which we'll go over later. Um, but really, I would just leave it on kind of the spot. Now on the back, there's this uh, the kind of a tail cap button, which is actually pretty nice. So it has high, medium, and low. And so high is obviously the 620 lumens, uh, which it'll run for two hours on that. So it's not the best run time, but it's pretty good. Then on uh, low, it's 220 lumens. I mean medium, sorry about that. And then on low, it is 64 lumens. So now that you've seen the specs on this flashlight and what it looks like, um, let's actually go test it out. So I'll be comparing it to uh, this just 300 lumen uh, Chinese flashlight, the three mode one. Uh, it's a great little flashlight. It's my EDC flashlight, and it's a good comparison. Okay, so this is the Cree, uh, just the 300 lumen flashlight. Um, it's on the widest angle setting. I think it's on, yeah, it's on high. So if we make zoom it in, looks like that. So we can see off into the distance by the waves, light up that tree. You can see it doesn't come out on video so well, but you can see a long ways, but overall it's not anywhere near as bright as what you're gonna see. So this is the coast flashlight on high. <laughs> so as you can see, this is just here, there's that same tree. Now you can really see off in the distance with this. It doesn't have as sharp of a beam, this is fully focused. Now if we change this to the wide angle setting, it looks more like that, which is kind of cool. It's good for certain situations where you want a, a wide beam. Uh, it actually does light up pretty good, but for the most part, I think people will use the focused in setting. But as you can see, it really lights stuff up good. So it's a lot better and it's actually quite affordable. Okay, so that's been my review of this Coast Polysteel 600. It's a great quality flashlight. Uh, it's going to last a long time. And if you're in the market for a flashlight and you want some good quality flashlight that just runs on ordinary batteries and is really bright, I would definitely recommend getting this one. Uh, so that's it for now. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next video.